Today's gospel reminds us that Jesus calls each of us in our celebration and reception of the Eucharist to make him the center of our very being. As we encounter this invitation further in the gospel, Jesus asks the apostles and each of us, do you also want to leave? Peter's response is hopefully our response. Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of everlasting life. And as we look at our world today, Jesus' invitation to be the bread of life for the world and Eucharist for others is never more relevant in addressing today's challenges of global poverty, war, racism, and so many problems that require our attention. One of the most pressing of those concerns has been addressed urgently and dramatically by Pope Francis in his two encyclicals, Laudato Si and Laudato Deum, in which Francis, as his namesake, St. Francis of Assisi, lived and preached, has reminded each of us that creation is a, is a divine gift to be preserved. Tragically, the human response to this gift has been marked by selfishness and a greedy desire to possess and exploit creation. Egoism and self-interest have turned creation, a place of encounter and sharing, into an arena of competition and conflict. As Francis points out, the environment itself is endangered. Something good in God's eyes has become something to be exploited in human hands. Deterioration has increased dramatically in, in recent decades. Constant pollution of air and water, the continued use of fossil fuels, and intensive agricultural exploitation and deforest deforestation causing global temperatures to rise above safe levels. Sadly, th these conditions are causing immense hardship for the most vulnerable among us. The melting of glaciers, the scarcity of water, the neglect of water basins, and the considerable presence of plastics in the oceans and equally troubling uh, and testify to the urgent need for interventions that can no longer be postponed. Locally, several of us reached out recently to Bishop Byrne to inquire what a parish and diocesan, diocesan response might be to the climate crisis. We found the bishop to be very supportive and several of us now compromise the Diocese of Springfield Care of Creation Committee which is committed to fully implement the Laudato Sea in our parishes and in our diocese. In just a few short months, we have proposed and accomplished the following. Training for teachers and principals in care of creation in our Catholic schools. Our young people are key to carrying forth the care of creation to future generations. Preparation of a Laudato Sea guidebook on our diocesan website with practical suggestions for parishes and individuals to care for creation in their homes and workplaces. A diocesan retreat day, Saturday, September 14th, with nationally recognized artist, Brother Mickey McGrath, entitled The Earth is Our Mother. You're all invited. Proposed training for priests and deacons and how to implement care of creation projects in parishes an outreach to the Episcopal Diocese in Springfield to work on a mutual project that will involve a number of volunteers from both faith traditions. Pope Francis has also proposed that we celebrate every year what he calls the season of creation. The season begins on September 1st, the World Day of Prayer for Creation, and ends on the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi on October 4th. Our committee encourages every parish to consider parish activities that involve volunteer efforts and local cleanups of lakes and rivers and other areas that need attention. If you join us for Brother Vicki McGrath retreat at Mary Mother of Hope on September 14th, we'll have a number of ideas you can take with you to care for creation locally. Finally, Pope Francis reminds us that we've forgotten who we are, creatures made in the image of God, and that we are called to dwell as brothers and sisters in our common home. We were created not to be tyrants, but to be at the heart of a network of life 
made up of millions of species lovingly joined together by our Creator. Now's the time to rediscover this vocation. Now's the time to repent, to be converted, and to return to our roots. And now is the time to share the prayer that Pope Francis gives us at the conclusion of Laudato Si. All powerful God, you are present in the whole universe and in the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out on us the power of your love that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. O oh God of the poor, help us to rescue the poor and forgotten of this earth, so precious in your eyes. Bring healing to our lives that we may protect the world and not prey on it, that we may sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Touch the hearts of those who look only for gain at the expense of the poor and the earth. Teach us to discover the worth of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that, that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggle for justice, love, and peace. Amen. <laughs>